Hello, here's the news at this hour on Tisali TV. I am Mopola Fadi Kale. Here are our Sunday headlines. Federal government appoints national task team on vaccine. Makede warned Nigeria to change course to avoid danger. Trump calls on Georgia governor to hold Senate race and in the water sports, Ashwala nominated for UEFA Fans Women's Team of the Year. And now, the news in details. Minister of Health Dr. Osage Haniri has appointed a national task team on COVID-19 vaccine with the responsibility to acquire and deploy vaccine in the country. This was contained in a statement issued on Tuesday by the Ministry's Director of Hospital Services, Dr. Adebi Adebi in Abuja. She noted that Ehani Ray is the chairman of the team and the Minister of State for Health, Olaruni Mamura, will serve as alternate chairman, while the Executive Director of the National Primary Health Care Development Agency will serve as secretary and the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry will serve as a member. The Ministers of Foreign Affairs, Finance, Budget and National Planning, Science and Technology will also serve as members. Director Generals of Nigerian Institute of Medical Research, Nigeria Center for Disease Control and CDC, and the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control will serve as members as well. Also, development partners such as World Health Organization, WHO, and the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, will be members, among others. The minister, however, said COVID-19 was real and enjoined the public to observe all protocols as prescribed by the government. Association of Local Government of Nigeria, Algan, and the National Union of Local Government Employees, Nalge, have called for an immediate end to illegal roadblocks and collection of multiple illegal fees from motorists across the 774 local governments of the country and the Federal Capital Territory of Uja. The National Chairman, Joint Mobile Sanitation Agency of Nigeria, Jamsen, Dr. Namdil Bogo, made the call in Abuja after the union's launch of the 2021 vehicle permits and workshop titled Building Partnership for Food Security in Nigeria. According to him, there are many legal blockages of the highways by persons claiming to collecting taxes and other revenues on behalf of local governments, adding that it largely contributes to the high cost of food and other basic goods, thereby heightening food insecurity in the country. He also said that his administration will introduce the use of marshals who will soon be recruited among youths and would be trained to check the menace. Governor of your state, Shane Makede, yesterday warned of an urgent need for Nigeria to change course or risk greater danger security-wise, adding that the recent occurrence, including the end SARS protest, have given clear indications that Nigeria needed to change its course. Governor Makede, who stated this at the DAPO at Dirogba Hall of the Nigerian Union of Journalists and UJ Press Center, Yago Kuibado, while declaring open, the 2020 Press Week maintained that if the country refuses to change its course on the state of security, no one will be spared. Makede, in his statement, noted that journalists have a lot to do in the development of the country, warning, however, that they must discharge the duty of informing the population with responsibility. However, Chairman of the NUJ in Oyaste, Dr. Dimola Babalola, urged the governor to support the ongoing efforts of the union to provide shelter for members through a landed property secured in Adia. There was pandemonium in Wesley College area of Ibada, Oyaste capital on Tuesday when hoodlums in numbers reportedly unleashed terrors on residents, leading to the alleged killing of one person while scores were injured. The National President of Solidero Hunters Association, Oba Wahaba Dijola Nobi, made the disclosure while speaking with journalists in Ibadan. He explained that the hoodlums have taken over Labo or Rita Query in Lekuro Kusodo or Royal areas of Ibadan where they use dangerous weapons such as animal bones, bo bottles, pistols, nails, and clubs to attack residents of the affected areas. Adijola, however, lamented men of the Royal State Security Outfit, Operation Burst, mistook his boys for hoodlums and got them arrested. Meanwhile, when contacted, the Police Public Relations Officer PPRO of the Oyo State Police Command, Mr. Olubenga Fadei, confirmed the incident, saying police have restored normalcy to the affected areas. The news on Teasley TV will be back right after this.
Welcome back. And now to some foreign stories. United States President Donald Trump on Tuesday urged Georgia Governor to hold the state's upcoming Senate race and reiterated his unproven claims that November presidential election saw widespread voter fraud. Trump lost the historic conservative state of Georgia to President-elect Joe Biden, a Democrat during the last month's election. He has refused to concede the race, however, has instead attacked members of Georgia's Republican Party and made unsubstantiated claims that the vote was rigged. The state of Georgia, which usually votes Republican, will have two simultaneous runoff elections for the Senate in January. The outcome of these races will determine which political party, the Democrat or the Republicans, will control the United States Senate after Biden is inaugurated. Attacks forces medical charity MSF of the Arcondo region. The United Kingdom is set to become the first Western country to approve a COVID-19 vaccine with its regulator Clarin Pfizer Inc. and BioNTech S is shot ahead of decisions in the United States and European Union. The emergency authorization clears the way for the deployment of a vaccine that is expected to play a significant role in the global effort to halt the coronavirus. Pfizer and its German partners said in November that the shot relying on novel technology called Messenger RNA was 95% effective in a final analysis of clinical trial data. The vaccine will, however, be available in Britain from next week according to a statement by the United Kingdom government. The UK has signaled it would move swiftly in approving a vaccine as part of its operation to protect its population and doctors across the country were put on standby for a possible rollout. For the government, it is an opportunity to make up for missteps during the pandemic as Britain's death toll nears 60,000. And finally, to the exciting world of sports, Super Falcons captain Assisa Vishwala is one of the 50 nominees for the UEFA Fans Women's Team of the Year for 2020. The list was revealed by Europe's football governing body UEFA on Tuesday. The 26-year-old, who has scored twice in six leagues appearances for Barcelona ladies this season, is the only African shortlisted among the 50 women nominated by UEFA. The show is competing with two of a Barcelona teammates, PSG Lyon, Arsenal, Chelsea, Wolfsburg and Juventus players for one of the striking positions in the team of the year. However, fans across the continent are expected to select their lineup from the 50 players who have stood across European competition and domestic leagues before the deadline on January 6th. Newcastle United's game at Premier League rival Aston Villa Friday has been postponed following a significant increase in COVID-19 cases at the Magpies training ground. Several Newcastle Met players and staff members are self-isolating at home after returning positive test results while the club's training ground at Darsley Park was closed on Monday and Tuesday. Newcastle launched a request with the Premier League to postpone the fixture with Villa Park which was pre-approved. Meanwhile, Aston Villa say they fully support the Premier League decision to postpone the match. This is reported to be the first Premier League fixture this season to be postponed because of COVID cases. And with that, we've come to the end of the news. Here is a recap of the major headlines. Federal government appoints national task team on vaccine. Makede warned Nigeria to change course to avoid danger. Trump calls on Georgia governor to hold Senate race. And in the world of sport, you heard Oshuala nominated for UEFA Fans Women's Team of the Year. Please do not forget to always adapt to COVID-19 safety measures. The news was compiled by Hope to GOK. I am Mobola Badde Kale. Good day and thank you for watching.